Deep in the heart of the city park jungle lurks the slithering serpent. Now you see him, now you don't. It was last night when the breakout occurred from the gator pond in the Denver Zoo. Relatives of the fugitive refused to comment. But the zoo warden told us the escapee climbed over a fence, then took a route 100 yards to the lake. He knew the way. This was his third breakout since being transferred from the Colorado Springs gator pen. Searchers use boats, nets, even a fishing pole. But each time, he got away. Eventually, he'll make a mistake and come up on the shore to bask in the sun and go to sleep, and we'll grab him, just like we always do. Do you have any punishment planned? Yes, he's going to be in solitary after this. We're not going to put him back out in the outdoor pen. You trying to find the alligator? Mm-mm. Why not? Because I'm scared of him. He might eat me up. Excuse me, have you seen the alligator? The deer, kangaroos, even the emu refuse to snitch. And so the baby gator remains at large, with about the only bait left to try, Gatorade. Rick Salinger, 9 News. Zoo employees came at Albert the alligator with nets, poles, and inner tubes, hoping to snare Albert as he ventured close to shore. But Albert appears to be growing wise to all this. He swims close to shore, well in sight of the waiting crowds that appear to be growing every day. But when he senses danger, he swims to the other side of the duck pond to catch some rays, all to the delight of his fans. But like any star, Albert is now having trouble controlling his followers. They splash and wave and yell trying to get his attention, something zoo officials think could be dangerous. If he's close to shore, let's say three or four feet, somebody can uh, get close enough almost to touch him and he can get his arm back in time. Well, that's not really true. An uh, alligator or a crocodile is actually very, very quick. In fact, he almost got a duck in midair, almost landing on his back the other day. Crowds at the zoo have grown the past couple of weeks, and it appears that Albert is the reason. Despite the crowd, zoo officials say they still want to catch Albert. But one zoo employee admits that he never thought something with 150 teeth could make so many friends so fast. Ken Schreiner, 9 News. Day 27. Duck Pond held captive. It was bound to happen as Denver park goers anxiously eye the adventures of Albert the Alligator. People are still cheering for Albert's confined freedom in Duck Pond, but supporters are about to be blitzed with all kinds of Alberts coming their way. From a different zoo in another part of town comes the likes of Albert on cards, in baskets, and on wheels. The other part of town is Cherry Creek. The zoo is the store that's cashing in on a fun summertime rally point. Good old Albert. I think the customer has actually requested it because we do carry alligator merchandise. Are they good sellers? Very. Everybody adores Albert. <laughs> and in addition to the inevitable bumper stickers, there's another product headed for Denver area stores on sale this weekend, the Free Albert T-shirt. Of course, the selling of Albert is a money-making venture, but creator Jim Gino says he's not making a market for free Albert t-shirts. The market is already there, he says. Several major stores in Denver have ordered bundles of them, confident that quite a few buyers really want to rally around Albert. Well, a number of us sat down and thought about Albert and said, uh, what's Albert doing? And he's trying to get free. He's trying to be uh, like everybody else, beat the system. And so far, he's getting away with it, so we think we should support him. and. We're a screen printer, the best way to do it is to make a t-shirt and everybody that's interested in Albert, go for it. And make a little money at the same time. Why not? Well, it looks like old Albert's getting a lot of attention these days, but some people at the city park said to us, what about all those poor ducks out there in the lake? Well, if you want to rally around the ducks, there's something for you too. Little alligators. Gotcha. 28 days after Albert slipped away from home, zoo officials were showing him off with a firm grasp, displaying him as no dignified gator would ever pose. Rather than return him to his homestead, shared with four roommates, the zoo will exhibit him in a more secure setting. On June 17th, Albert checked out by hauling his four-foot frame over a corner of his fence, 
the corner is now sealed, and dragged his scales across a footbridge to slip into the serenity of Duck Pond. 27 days of Peking duck instead of the old meat and fish diet. 27 days of playing cat and gator with exasperated zookeepers. Last night, employees placed a snow fence around a favorite hiding spot, and the game was over. The last time we tried at night was last Friday night, and there was a media circus going on at City Park Lake in, in honor of the alligator, and it was a hopeless case, so we gave it up. The zoo's assistant director hasn't been impressed by all the attention for an alligator that doesn't even have a name as far as he's concerned. And what happens now to those who invested in bumper stickers, theme songs, and t-shirts? That's their problem. <laughs> He's where he belongs. Alligators do not belong living wild in Colorado. If we were in Florida, it'd be a different matter. You would think the sellers of Albert paraphernalia would have a problem on their hands now that Albert is back in captivity. But the creator of this t-shirt says the rally cry is still free Albert. And he expects to sell a bundle of them when they go on sale this weekend. Bill Britt, 9 News.